after the 100th year anniversary of the Summer Olympics, and after the world records being set like Michael Johnson's 200 meter, it was expected that the year after that, 1997, would be the year where it would be settled easy, right? Well, you're correct. After the Olympics in 1996, I wouldn't really expect much from the 1997 games in Athens. However, there were some events that caught my eye. 1500 meter Hisham El Garouj was able to win gold after the disaster in the Olympics where he fell and could have had the chance to win the Olympic gold in the 1500 meters. The reason I bring him up is because he's an athlete that I admire myself and to see him start winning his titles after a downfall in his mind at the Atlanta 1996 Olympics, he will eventually start setting the bars up really high as he gets more into his career. Prior to the world championships, the debate on who is the fastest man on the planet was intense. Donovan Bailey ran at 984, which is the world record in the 100 meter. On the other hand, Michael Johnson ran a world record in 1932 in the 200 meter, which divided by 2 is about 966 for every 100 meter. Right now, in this current generation, the only man to have ever run under 966 is Usain Bolt all time. The intense rivalry between Michael Johnson and Donovan Bailey rose to the point where both each raced each other in a 150 meter race. Michael Johnson then pulled up a hamstring during the race and the fastest man in the end was Donovan Bailey. However, between these two athletes and their performances, Michael Johnson did win his third 400 meter title in the World Championships. On the other hand, Donovan Bailey sadly got silver in 100 meter and the gold was given to a new rising athlete by the name of Maurice Green. However, on the bright side for Donovan Bailey, he did compete in the 4x100 meter and Canada won the 4x100m relay with a time of 37.86. Speaking of the relays, the 4x400m relay was originally won by the United States without Michael Johnson, but due to Andrew Pettigrew admitting to in 2008 of testing positive during a drug test from 1997 through 2003, the medals were sadly taken away and were awarded to Great Britain. On the distance side, Ethiopian Haley came back for the 10,000 meter and reclaimed his world title in the time of 27.24. On the women's side, there was the rise of a young Kenyan named Sally Barsusio, who was the youngest woman in the Kenyan to win the world championships of any event. There was also a championship record set in the 4x100m relay by the United States of America with a time of 41.47. On the field side of things, there were two new championship records set in both the pole vault and the decathlon. One of the events was Sergei Bubka, who ran the world championship since 1987, had finally come down to his last year at the world championships and would soon retire. However, on the bright side, he was known as a legend to the field side of the IAAF track and field and will most likely never be forgotten. On the women's side, however, nothing really interested me as there wasn't many events I could really talk about. Remember, as I said already, I'm not too much of a person that likes the field events. The championship records that were set at the 1997 World Championships were the men's pole vault, decathlon, and women's 4x100 meter. Overall, the games were after the 1996 Olympics, so I honestly didn't expect much to happen as the greatest events were pulled off in the 1996 Olympics. However, if the games didn't come out the year after the Olympics, it wouldn't really be too interesting. It would be quite boring to watch at times. Hello once again YouTube, it is I, the Thunder Mario here, and today I know I, that this video is late, and I know it was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but I'm gonna try and upload today's video, which is the 1999 games at Seville, hopefully later today, so be sure to look out for that video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out guys, and I like bacon!